And if you shoot a rocket to the moon, there are constant corrections that need to be made along the way. And if you sign on to allow yourself to be wrong, if you sign on to allow yourself to get really good feedback, So let's talk about being in relationships. How important is it for someone to actually be prepared to get into a relationship before they start one? Well, think about it. If somebody is aware of their relationship style, they're aware of what their reactions are when they're upset or they're frustrated, they um, have healthy boundaries on board, a healthy internal boundary so they would not take a reaction from their husband or their partner so personally, makes a profound difference. However, it is in relationship where we get our PhD, if you will, in being relational. So I like to say to my clients, you know, you can feel really peaceful on a mountaintop in India, but then what happens when you come home to Thanksgiving dinner with your family? So it's the same thing with relationships. We can do um, a lot of work that will save us a lot of frustration in relationship. However, it's in the relationship where we really continue to grow and um, master being relational. I like to think that it is the best chance to grow up. And if you embrace it that way, if you really decide that this is going to be my opportunity to figure out how to be a full human being, and you choose someone who can be behind you on that, it makes all the difference. Now, I, I believe it really helps to have marriage counselors, uh, premarital counselors, whatever. I have on my website uh, 12 topics and 75 questions every couple should talk about before they get married. I really believe it's if you have trouble, you know, head, head it off at the past. Get started, get the tools, get what you need. I think it's really important to know yourself in, in terms of your family. Mm -hmm. uh, in my book, Fishing by Moonlight, I go three generations back. So mm -hmm. the grandparents are have an influence on the parents who have an influence on you. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to know yourself in that light. Should it stop you from getting in a relationship if you don't? Let's be, be realistic, it isn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the more conscious we could be when getting into a relationship and then when we are in a relationship is of course really important and it makes for a healthier relationship. However, um, I do believe that we very unconsciously get into relationship and there are a lot of the factors, the, the family of origin that influence us and we're not aware of it. So the, anything we can do to become more conscious in anything we're doing, of course, is helpful. There's this idea still in our culture that you have to love yourself before you can love another person. And a lot of people who have a hard time being in relationship think the option or the the thing to do is to back out and to learn it in a book or a workshop and the thing is is that developmentally it's impossible to love yourself before you love another person that we don't do anything by ourselves without the help of another person at least in the beginning we don't so it's the kind of thing where you have to be in a relationship to learn to do it and you have to fail to do it uh, you're hurt by people and you're healed by people so this idea of taking care of yourself uh, goes against what we think in terms of PAC. Our belief is that we're wired basically to interactively regulate and I learned how to take care of myself through being in relation with you and that's how I did it in infancy, that's how I do it through life. And if you shoot a rocket to the moon, there are constant corrections that need to be made along the way and if you sign on to allow yourself to be wrong, if you sign on to allow yourself to get really good feedback from friends, from mentors, uh, from people who really believe in marriage. I mean, don't hang out with those buddies that are still single. Well, that's the thing though, it's what happens with our kids, doesn't it? Our, our kids will hang out with the friends that they identify with. And a lot of the couples that I see who are struggling are with other friends who are struggling uh, or people who are out of marriage and so on. And the idea of finding mentor couples, people who are doing it well, they admire, usually older. My, my wife and I have two mentor couples that we have. It doesn't dawn on a lot of people. So we kind of are who we hang out with and I think it speaks to what you just said. Um, but it's hard because I don't know about you guys, uh, I have a lot of couples who 
don't believe there's any such thing as a secure functioning relationship. They don't think they exist. They're unicorns are because they're not around it. So it sounds like the advice from the panel is don't let uh, your lack of positive relationships in the past prevent you from getting in one in the future. You have to experience relationships to understand where you have to grow. And by all means, today is the day that you ought to start.